Actually, he stepped on Brian Shaw's foot, who came down to double team. That's how he lost his foot. Five, 50 seconds left in the fourth. A magic with the ball and a three-point lead. Shot clock at 10. Hardaway. Hardaway. Rebound by Grant. Huge offensive rebound for Horace Grant, who has controlled the ball. 30 seconds left in the fourth. And the shot clock now at 12. Shaw for three. Rebound handled by Hardaway. Another Orlando offensive rebound. And Houston foul. must they... foul right here. Now the foul call with 10 and a half seconds to go. This is why you need rebounding, and Kim Olajuwon, one of the best rebounders in the league, only has four in this game. He was actually walking the other way. It looked like the smallest player on the floor, Kenny Smith, had reached inside position. He couldn't handle it, but the Rockets had hurt themselves on both boards. Nick Anderson making his first appearance at the line, usually a dependable free-throw shooter. The Magic with all kinds of difficulties at the line this season, particularly in fourth quarters. Today, though, Orlando 12 of 15 at the line. And Anderson missing on both, but gets to the rebound and again draws the foul. Seven and seven tenths seconds. Remaining Drexler picks up the foul, and Anderson, a 70% free throw shooter, will shoot two more. Well, everybody flat-footed, and Mario Ellie came inside, but just stabbing at it, and the Magic get a huge break here after two Nick Anderson misses. Team anyway, they were going to do it by committee, and another miss by Nick Anderson. Well... The three to make four rule, that's, that's, that's in effect, I believe, yes. <laughs> and he misses four straight. The Rockets take a timeout with five and six-tenths seconds remaining. Well, Nick Anderson had just missed two. Penny Hardaway can't even look because he knows Nick is struggling. And now, this is where the mind really starts to play tricks. You've missed three in a row. You want to make sure you just get it up there, and it's too hard off the back iron. And the reaction of Nick Anderson, knowing that if he had just made one of those, it would have given the Magic a hammerlock on this game. All right, Ellie throws it for Smith, looking for the three. He's been on fire. And hits. He's tied the game at 110 with one and six-tenths seconds remaining. And that is an NBA record for Kenny Smith. That's his seventh from downtown. One and six-tenths seconds remaining. The game tied at 110. And the four consecutive missed free throws by Nick Anderson so costly, leading to the three-point shot by Kenny Smith. Brian Shaw will throw it in. Here's Scott. Dennis Scott blocks. Six-tenth seconds remaining. Again, Scott, this time able to inbound, comes back to Scott. For three, and he's tied the game at 118. The Rockets call for time with five and five-tenth seconds. It's usually for the man underneath the basket, Drexler. Drexler puts the ball on Anderson. Second remaining and a timeout has one timeout remaining. Brian Shaw checking in and now Jones steps away. Oh, I'm surprised that they're gonna zone up Akeem underneath the basket. It has to be a deflection with three tenths of a second remaining. The Rockets by two. Shaw. Now Shaw to the basket. And that will do it. Houston Rockets, you know, comes from behind.